Hey everyone, this is Steve from GamersNexus.net and today we are talking about this. This is a gold-plated USB cable I bought on Amazon. Gold-plated. And the reason I use scare quotes is because it is marketing BS. I bought this only so I can show you to not buy it. So, I took a hit for you. You're welcome. Let's talk about why gold-plated cables for USB is complete marketing BS, why you should never buy it. First of all, this cable is plated only on the outside. There are no gold plates on the inside, on the pins, you know, the things that actually connect to the computer. The receiving pins are what connect to the pins here. The plate on the outside is only to protect the, to house the USB. You could actually remove this, this housing, the metal housing and it would still work because it doesn't carry a signal. This cable on Amazon was advertised as improving the signal and decreasing the latency. And with keyboards, a lot of the time you'll see companies say it's gold plated, it decreases the latency so your keyboard inputs faster so there's less lag between keystrokes and that's why it's better for gaming. Don't listen to that, it's BS. And uh, aside from the fact that a lot of them are only plated on the outside, which carries no signal to begin with and therefore cannot decrease latency and cannot improve the signal, uh, the ones that are gold plated on the pens, they're plugging into a system that isn't gold plated on the receiving side. So metallurgically, it might actually be worse for the the cable in the long run because it's not a like to like connection it's uh it's aluminum or whatever on gold and let's say everything is gold let's say it's receiving gold plated it's going in gold plated even then there are so few pins on usb it's five for usb3 so few pins it's not going to make any difference whatsoever in the accuracy of the signal in the latency of the signal and besides keyboards aren't exactly high uh, high pull rate devices anyway. You might get a thousand hertz or something. It's not like a video card where you have dozens of pins and they need to be plated gold. They need to be really accurate and it's operating at gigahertz, right? So it's a lot faster on a video card. Uh, CPU, it makes sense to have gold pins because there are thousands of pins and they need to be accurate. They need to be fast. It's operating at several gigahertz. This is not fast. It doesn't need to be as accurate because, frankly, it doesn't produce the level of output that something like a CPU does, which is on a completely different level technologically. And the gold plating really is just to make you spend more money. So do not buy gold plated connectors simply because it says gold plated. If you're buying it because the cable as a whole, in the case of audio equipment, is better, great, do that. Maybe audio equipment, analog equipment, that stuff it can make sense for gold-plated for completely different reasons, normally because it's tied with the thickness and the uh, quality of the cable inside. USB, don't go out and buy this just because it's gold-plated. Buy any other USB connector. You can buy these if it's cheap anyway, like why not, but don't expect it to be faster. Don't go around saying your keyboard is low latency as a result of it. So that is why uh, gold-plated connectors are BS and why you should not be spending more money for them. And audio is a little different, but I will see you all next time. Peace.